Ruby, how old are you? I'm 89 and I've been interested in photography for all my life. When did you get your first camera? Well, I have a photo of me at eight and I have it, it's a, it's a um, brownie and I think that I used to use that until I got a little bit older and then I sort of got the ordinary camera. And in your early days, did you get involved in the camera car club movement? Yes. In 1960, my brother and I formed a camera club in Yamurka in Victoria. And we were using then, of course, slides. From that, I went to, we enjoyed the Victorian Photographic Society and the Australian Photographic Society and of which I was a member for 48 years before I stopped being a member. I, in those days, I was taking slides, but when I sort of got a bit older, I started to look at doing other things with photography, perhaps more into the art type of world. So imagery gallery, can you tell us about how that influenced what you did? Yes, it did. It really did. When other people came with the work that they were showing, it gave me a lot of ideas as to what I could do. And I remember we sort of got very interested in Polaroid at one stage, and that was interesting, and which went on then to black and white. And I shot black and white for many years. Uh, infrared was my favourite, and I just loved the infrared landscape and and anything to do with that type of thing. Of course, so you shoot a lot of panorama pictures? Yes, I did. Um, there's one in my life, about 1988, I shot a lot of into panoramas. Um, many photographs in the one panorama, they could go as far as two to three metres long. That was quite exciting because by shooting them, they could be... Um, doubled up or used more than once. It was really, really interesting. And in terms of being a woman in photography, how, what do you think about that it's in a man's world? Yes, it is. It's a woman in photography, yeah. That was interesting because I think I had the feeling in some cases that men were sort of, um, especially me, who was not... Um, who had not had any professional training, was there taking photographs and perhaps beating them. I don't know whether I was very popular sometimes. And how about being a, a female photographer in the, in the art photography world? Yeah, that's a bit hard. Um, trying to get the recognition for the work that you do, I found it, yes, yeah, found it slightly difficult unless you um, lived in a different state other than Queensland. But still and all, I enjoyed what I did and particularly in the years that I did what, like double ups of photos, taking one photograph and, and put them together in a pattern that was more of a, an art arrangement than just a photograph. What do you hope for this exhibition? Like it's all women photographers, loud and luminous. What do you hope this exhibition and this event uh, will bring to women photography in Australia? I've put in a lot of just photographs of me in my years of photography, in my life. And which I think is rather interesting is how you progress from, from the years and showing what you've done. Excellent. Okay. I think that's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So, so Ruby, what's your favourite photographic subject today? Oh, Annie. Annie's my baby. And she loves getting the photo taken too, don't you? Hey? That's little Annie. Annie loves it. And everyone loves her too. She has lots of friends here where we live. Don't you? We go on a scooter and she runs along beside me and people all come out and she 
runs over and catches anybody that doesn't like dogs, don't go near any. Aren't you beautiful, aren't you? I've had her now for eight years. That's great. There you go.